It's often been said that laughter is the best medicine, although this has never been scientifically proven. My name is Freeman Gunnison, and through my work as a journalist, I have dissected the human soul and answered many of life's mysteries. Few could maintain that Nordic comedy can measure up with the refined sense of humor I got to know through my cultural upbringing in Great Britain, the mecca of comedy. Finding sense of humor of such quality in the Nordic spectrum seems highly unlikely. Or does it? My name is Freeman Gunnison and I make sense. Sense of humor. England, the United Kingdom, my home away from home, the cultural womb of the educated world that nurtured me and brought me up to become the refined man of the world I am today. The home of the genius comedy of Benny Hill, the countless hilarious carry-on movies and the critically acclaimed television series Allo Allo. England is on a very different scale in every aspect. So I couldn't believe my luck to have stumbled upon the website of the Strawberry Talent Agency. I was surprised not to have heard of them before since they represent an impressive roster of talent. With ease, they managed to line up interviews with all the names I threw at them. Legends such as Sir John Cleese and Stephen Fry, to name only two. At Strawberry Talent's urging, I agreed to start my journey through British comedy by meeting a relatively unknown young comedian named Matt Berry. Having never heard of him, I was reluctant at first, but seeing that it might be a good idea to start with an up-and-coming comedian, I agreed to it in the end. This was a decision I would immediately regret. I'm gonna meet all these great big names. John Cleese. You're meeting John Cleese? Stephen Fry, yeah. Wow, I know John. John's a really nice guy. Really? We have the same agent, so you know, we meet for dinner and things. That was incredible. All the names I really need, wanted to meet are all from one agency. All from one agency. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's the way it works. What's the name of the show, sorry? Oh, it's, it's really a clever name. It's, uh, <laughs> it's I Make Sense of humor. I have no doubt we will sell it to every country in Scandinavia. And it's like, so we're able, yeah. Just Scandinavia? Yes. Are you under the influence of, of these classical comedians like John and... Well... Or Sir John? I don't know. I mean, I'm not... Excuse me. No problem. Everything that I do, uh, all the work that I've done, my approach is not to be funny. Oh, well, I'm not sure if you're in the right profession then. <laughs> if you're, yeah. It really matters how you tell a joke. And it can help to go into these stereotypes. Then the audience will kind of understand where you're going with it. What's the date? What's today's date? What's the year? Uh, 2010. Okay, so it's not 1950s. No, obviously Okay, you not. just basically described some comedy from the 1950s. You're, you're of course, you're, you're trying to break the mold. You know, I respect that, but, but you can't really dis disrespect the, the great names, you know. I kind of feel I can disrespect the great names. Oh, you feel, oh, I mean, of course, people will not learn that much from you because you haven't done that much. But you will understand later, then maybe you will look back and you think, I'm very happy with his career. And not only you, but the Queen also. Right. Well, no, you'd probably get on with the Queen. I, I, I have often thought about You look about a bit that. like one of her sons. Wow. <laughs> That's well, a, you know, you certainly well, kind one? of which dress one? like them. The one who's losing his hair. Obviously, you're wearing a wig, but, um, I mean, he might wear a wig at one point. I don't know. Okay, that's I wasn't what meant you mean. to mention that, was I? But like what? that you're wearing a wig. Okay, this is it. But I thought that's part of your act. This is not an act here. This is a serious show. It's okay, a serious show about comedy. I, I think I think actually I am more British in many ways than you are. Well, you look funnier than I do. Um, what? I don't understand. You you know nothing about drama. 
As I had known all along, this was a bad idea from the start. You never know what to expect from this new breed of so-called young comedians. Unbelievable. George Bernard Shaw once said, youth is wasted on the young. How right he was. But never mind, I was on my way to meet Sir John Cleese. This is what it was all about. All the travel, all the mindless chatter just seemed to fade away. Oh, Sir John. Oh, yes. right. Yeah. You want to come this way? Yeah. Thank you. Hey. Hi, wait, wait. What are you doing here? No, 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 no. What, um, what's he doing here? No, he, Where's John? He can't be here. He sent me. He wouldn't send a hooligan. Who, who's this guy? Why, did no, no, he, no. He, why is he, he here? He doesn't know anything about this guy. He sent you? Yeah, yeah. John Cleese? Yeah, John Cleese. Why? Because he can't be here. Just sit down and we'll talk about yeah, it. Yeah, don't touch me. I shouldn't have said the things about, you know, your clothes and the other thing. Yeah, well... If I was to come into a pub, you know, and I was dressed, you know, and looked the way you did, you would think it was a joke. I've been very stressed. My wife's pregnant and the oh. house is, a, is in a hell of a state. There's, there's clothes all over the floor. Yesterday you were clearly very upset. Yeah, well... And if you're upset, very John's awkward. upset. And if John's upset, you know, then I'm upset. You talked about this with him? For about three hours. You know, I can see, you know, that you're, you know, a learned man. <laughs> yeah, and I well... I may have yeah. misjudged you. Well... Anyway, <laughs> let's totally forget it. Let's just put it all behind us. John wants me to give you a comedy tour of London. John what? usually does it, but he's entrusted me to do it on this occasion. A comedy tour? Yeah. Of London? Of London. I'll take you to all the well-known comedy spots. Oh, okay, that, that sounds quite interesting. Uh, yeah. And then we'll meet up with John. Definitely. Well, I mean, your wife and all, so then... Wife? Whose wife? But your wife. You, you just I'm said not married. She, I thought you said that she was pregnant. Your wife. I never said anything like that, no. I um, probably misunderstood something, but... Can I take your order? Well... Hold on. Sylvia? You don't remember me? Tell me something, Sylvia. How's my brother's bastard son? What? So you don't remember that either? Running away with my brother and having a bastard son with him? Can you believe that's what this woman did? I'm not Sylvia. I think you've got the wrong person. Brilliant job. Well done. I'll see you later on. What? That was an act. Sorry? She's one of my students. That was an act. Oh, God! That's how good I am. That was an act? That was an act. Oh, God! I would, my heart was like, boom, boom, boom. What, uh, I what, what have I stepped yeah. into here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She was good. Very good. Yeah, I believed her also. Absolutely. She's wow. one of the best. Nine times out of ten, I'd get to work my piece into it. But not this time. Was that a... Was that a... Pistol? What? Was that real? No, 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 no. There was no denying that this young man had talent. I have to admit, since matters were starting to move into the right direction, and Sir John was just around the corner, that a comedic tour around London sounded quite interesting. Yeah. Have you seen the film uh, The Life of Brian? Yeah, the Monty Python one. Exactly. Yeah. That's where it was actually filmed here with. John Cleese, oh. Marlon Brando, Michael Palin, all of them up there. Really? Was, was Brando in it? Do you know where, where John was standing? It would be at the top there. These would have stood about here. He was standing here? Yeah, I think Marlon Brando was here, or he could have been further apart. A few of the Carry On films were made here. Really? Yeah. I love those. They are, they are so good. You can't walk on this bit because there's people buried underneath here. Oh, in real life? Yeah. But then they shot movies here? Yeah. They filmed Carry On Cleopatra here. Wow. Really? Obviously, yeah. But are these statues, are they real? Yeah, they're real. They're from Egypt. You see the signs here? Do you, do you know what they say? Well, I wouldn't pay attention to the one that's spray-painted because it looks like it's a cock. No, I'm talking about these signs. Oh, those? The... I don't know what they mean. Oh. Friends, Romans, countrymen. Uh, Shakespeare? Yeah, yeah. Ah. Did you like that? <laughs> yeah, Julius Caesar. Exactly. Oh, that was good. That was some acting. Horse, a horse, a kingdom for a horse. Yeah, that's <laughs> a different play, but that's good. Yeah. Is this a dagger I see before me? Do it again, and this time, take that hand out of your pocket. This one? Use that hand, and you're not actually grabbing the dagger. You're just seeing an image 